David Avido, and I was born and bred here in the slums, Kibera. You can go somewhere and then you say that you're from Kibera and then they all think that maybe you're a drug addict or maybe you're a, you're a thief because most of the stories that they get to hear, it's not the things that normally happen here. But I believe that also good stuff can come from the slum and that's why I started like my own brand. I was really the single mom. I'm the first born in our family and I have like one sister and two brothers. My mom was like a housewife. She used to wash clothes and then from washing clothes that way she could get like her salary for her like to make everything possible for us. So what I used to do the most, I used to play soccer because you know, soccer is every child's game. I could play for Atlas and then they took me to West Park for school and then they could pay for my school fees. But it reached a point whereby they were not able to pay for my fees anymore. So when I dropped out of school in Form 1, I started working in a construction site in Langata to support my other siblings, but the work was just too much. So I just started staying home, not knowing what to do. I'm super lonely. It was really kind of hard. And then during that period, I thought a lot about myself. Those are just like the challenges that made me, you know, who I am better as an individual. speaking out myself because I'd never had somebody talk to. So I would go to the dam sites and then just start like writing lyrics down, just talking about my life, what I wanna do in life, what inspires me and then crying a lot because you're like, why, I mean, why me? Now I started like performing these like spoken words things. So when I came to perform it sometimes back here in Kamkunji, that's when I was able like, to reunite with a couple of my other friends that we used to know. They were already like now coming up to the dance group and I joined forces with them. So we started. During that period of dancing, I was just like saving money, saving money. That really made a difference for me because I started like seeing life in a different perspective. I learned about the adult education, which you normally call it Gumbaru. So I went over there and registered to finish my education. After that, I took the papers and then I went and looked on which school that I wanted to get enrolled in. I took the brochures, I took them to Mesha Foundation, and then I started my education in, in fashion and design in Bifa. Me, I'm inspired with the streets because the streets make me who I am and I want like youths like me to be their own bosses. They just have to believe in themselves and believe in their own needs. I mean, what do they want in life? Do they have goals? Do they have ambitions? If you plan well, then you're able to achieve what you want. Since everybody in my, in my family used to look up to me, I took it in a way that I'm the firstborn in, in Kibera and every, every kid in Kibera is looking up to me. My main dream this year is to open like a big place whereby I'm able to empower people to work. I've been able to work with Charles Riley, Everton Blender, Richie Spice, Cecile Charlton, Chris Martin, Romain Vargo, Ty Dollar Sign, wow, Big Ted, so many. Kibera is what makes me who I am. I learned of my worth when I was here in Kibera, and because of that, I call this is my first home. Georgia City, Georgia City, kids you never be lovely, to be lovely, oh, oh, oh. shillings is what started my business. There's nothing like you come from the slum and you can't achieve this. This is just like an opportunity to, for you to work more harder. It gives you more reason to focus with your life. We just want to carry you when you're dead. We don't want to carry you when you're alive. So work your ass out.